Welcome to another Millionaire Profit System production. In today's video I'd like to show you one of the easiest and quickest ways for you to make money online. Now if you can string together a sentence, iWriter.com has to be perhaps the easiest way for you to make money from the internet. You can easily earn 10, 20, 50, 100 dollars a day off this site, sometimes more. It depends upon how much you want to write. You can do as much as you want to or as little as you want to. What I'd like to do today is show you how to use this site from the point of view of somebody who wants to make a bit of money. Now, for many of us out there, when we start out online, you know, we don't have a lot of money to invest. You know, Maybe you're working a job, you've got bills, and you don't have that spare cash. You need to really make some extra money so that you can invest in domain names and hosting and things like that iWriter is a great place to do it. You know, your domain name could cost you, what, $10 a year. Write two or three articles here, you can pay for domain name. You need hosting, great. $10 a, a month for some hosting, three or four articles, hosting paid for. So it's very, very quick and very easy for you to do this. And it's a great way where you can get started and start building up a bit of cash and some experience. Now, all you've got to do is be able to string a sentence together. One of the advantages of iWriter is that quite often they ask for articles in foreign languages like French, Portuguese, German and Spanish. So if you can speak those languages, you could come here and write articles in those languages as well if that's the language you speak. Now because there's less writers in those languages, those articles tend to charge a bit of a premium. Now signing up is very, very easy. All you do is you sign up. Uh, and put your name, email address, username and so on in there. Once you've signed up, you will need to put your PayPal address in because they pay by, pay by PayPal. You have to earn a minimum of $20 and then they'll pay it out to you. Now when you log in, this is pretty much what you will see. You can see here your statistics, how many articles are requested and whatever. You can see here how many articles you've written, how many have been rejected and yes, even the best writers get articles rejected Sometimes there's just no pleasing people. I've written articles that have been, which I've thought were brilliant, but they've turned around and gone, it's not quite what I wanted and rejected it. It happens. But you can avoid that, and as you can see, if you're careful about what you write and you do a bit of research, then you can make sure that you get as few rejected as possible. Now, the way I write a works is it works on you write an article for someone, they then read the article and they will rate you. They'll give you your article a rating from one to five stars. If you uh, don't get a good rating, then obviously that's a bit of a problem. Sometimes you can contact them and ask to rework the article. Sometimes they'll do that, sometimes they won't. Um, but as you go up the, the stars here, when you start off, before you got four stars, you get uh, the, the lowest rate of article writing, which I'll, I will show you in a minute. Um, once you get four stars, you become a premium author, which means you get a higher rate of writing. Once you get five stars, you become an elite author, which means you get paid the most money. So it's in your best interest to write the best possible articles you can and to make sure they're unique. Here is a very important point for you. I write a perform a copyscape check against anything you write, and if it fails, uh, they will perform two, give you two chances to edit it. If after those two chances it fails, then you will be suspended. They charge you for the second and third uh, copyscape check, so just be aware of that. So what you do to get started, as you can see here, you can see the balance. You can go and look at your inboxes. You can see your ranking as well. So you start here as a as a normal. You go to premium, and then here. Um, you become an elite writer. To become a premium author, you have to have 30 ratings. So you've got to start and you've got to do a fair bit at the bottom level to get up to the 30 ratings. Once you do, you'll double your income pretty much from iWriter. Um, to become an elite, you can have a rating of 4.6 stars. That's an average. So yeah, just a single poor rating can really, really bring down your rank. So you've got to be careful to make sure that you maintain that quality. So once you're done here, you go to write content. We go in here, and here you can see we can 
um, we can look for articles if we want to write articles we can search for rewrites that will come up and show us um, articles that need rewriting re the the good thing about rewrites is they pay a bit less but a rewrite can be done an awful lot quicker you can typically you can pay uh, do a rewrite in half the time or quarter of the time of a normal article then you can also look for ebooks ebooks pay a lot more but there's a lot more to write a twelve and a half thousand word ebook is going to pay you probably hundred and sixty hundred and seventy dollars maybe more uh, depending on the author um, and that's obviously a, quite a good amount of money but ebooks don't come on here too often and when they do they tend to get snapped up very very quickly and there's other search uh, criteria here you could do as well if you wanted to so if we go back you can see here there's six pages of content the most content tends to be added in the evening UK time so sort of come lunchtime United States time sort of mid-afternoon that's when the amount of content it's probably mid-afternoon and onwards in USA time then the content the amount of content requested really really goes up and it, there's quite a lot of people on here and people will go through the articles pretty quickly so you know you got to grab an article write it grab an article write it you know you can't sit there going no oh, well, I'll come back to that later on because chances are it'll be gone and grabbed by somebody you know the best articles the highest paying ones are gone very very quickly so it's very very important that you um, make sure you grab the articles you want as soon as you can do so now at the top here you've got the elite uh, articles requested you can see here, 700 word article will earn you 10 bucks. Uh, 300 words, $5.67. So there's plenty of, there's 17, uh, 20 articles in all there for elite writers. So you know you get paid good money for these. It's a lot more than on another level. Now down here, we have the uh, premium writers. And you can see here's one that's in um, uh, Portuguese. So someone wants four articles in Portuguese and they're paying a premium. They're paying $10.13 uh, per article. And you see here that somebody wants an article in, I assume that's Spanish, they're just paying normal rates. Again, here you can see Spanish, normal rates, just slightly above normal. So you can see here that um, for premium, on average, you'll get paid for 300 words, it's about $3.65. For 500, it's four and a bit. For 700 it's sort of five to six um, dollars so you can see there that there's quite a few different articles on various to topics and you can see like this one here taxi price compare uh, there's six articles in here that you can see so six articles so you can go through and you can write the articles for something like this where they're pretty much a very similar subject you've got to make sure that they're unique and there's enough difference because otherwise they will get rejected now what you can also see is here underneath the users it gives you some information about them so this person here they've approved 209 articles they've rejected 58 the approval rate 78 percent brilliant that's somebody you think that's a pleasure to work with um, this one here again they've approved the majority of them which tells you that great that's something that you can handle you can cope with them um, now look at this one here this one here this person's got a 25 percent approval rate now to me that would would make me really really nervous same with this one here 40 percent these are new people and they've got very very low approval rates which means they're rejecting most of the articles for me personally as an author on this site i would run from those people and i wouldn't go near them simply because the chances of me getting approved by this person is just 25 percent the chances are that I've put an article in, it could be a brilliant article, but it's not what they want, so they'll reject it. And that means that my ranking on this site is going to suffer, which frankly isn't good enough. I don't want to do that. You can see here, this one's 000, zero, zero. that's a brand new person. Um, you can see again someone else here, high rate. You can see again, this person here sends tips, so write something really good for this person they're likely to pay you um, a little bit extra money as well um, and it tells you how long it takes roughly for them to approve so this person within 17 hours is likely to approve approved your article and you see there thousand words 
eight dollars and fifty one cents. Um, again, you could go through and see again another one here. This one here. This person um, isn't paying particularly brilliantly, but look at their approval rate: twenty four percent. Seventy eight articles they rejected. Again, to me, that's a big, big no no. I wouldn't go near them with a the barge pole because, in all likelihood, they're going to reject my article no matter what I do. Now, when it comes to writing your article, you will see some special instructions here. Before you click write article, you have to read these. When you click write article, a box will open or a window will open and you can start writing your article. You cannot take on any other work on iWriter until you finish that article. You have a limited amount of time to do the article. You can see here the time. So I have five hours to write this 700 word article. If I fail to do it in that five hours or uh, times out or I forget to do it or I go off and do something else it will basically cancel what I've done and the article will go back into the pool what I recommend you do is you write the uh, click write the article you open notepad on your computer you write the article into notepad and then you copy and paste it into iWriter when you're ready to submit it the reason being that it, otherwise if I, there's a problem with your browser and it crashes or iWriter has a problem You've lost your article and you have to start again. I've had that on occasion where my browser shut down or my computer's restarted because it's applying some updates and my article's gone and I've had to restart restart from scratch. So you click on the special instructions and you can see here. Now this one in here in particular I, I think is um, obviously a bit cheeky. 700 words, they want a pittance for it. I know what you should do an awful lot of work. You know, spinning an article is difficult to do. It really, really is. And they want you to um, basically do all that as well. So you've got to write quite a lot in order to get your money. And they're not paying particularly brilliantly. So that's one set of instructions. Let's have a look at um, their instructions. So there you are. This is much better. It tells you the writing style. They want it in a professional tone. So that means not, not don't be friendly. Yeah, be friendly, but be very professional about it. This is the purpose of the article. So that's what you need to know. You need to understand what they want from the article because that's what you need to deliver. If you don't deliver this, you're likely to get rejected. Um, this is the title for the article. Um, and that would be the keyword. You, it says here, only use the keyword in the first and last paragraphs. So this is the keyword. You would only use that in those two paragraphs, nowhere else. And again, the same here, solid facts and grammatically correct, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, just make sure that's okay. Let's, have, uh, let's find another one. Let's just look at a few of these. I want to show you some of the differences. There you are. Again, you can see here it's very strict instructions on what you need to do. Use a keyword every 100 words. Um, get the point across and so on. So there you are. It gives you an idea of what they're after. Um, and again, you have plenty of here. Let's click on special instructions. And again, each keyword mentioned twice. Each article, three paragraphs, each paragraph mentioning a different city. So, okay. Um, let's just go on to the next page down here and see what we got here. Again, now you can see we've gone down to the standard writer ones. You can see you get paid a lot less. Um, $2.43 for a 500-word article. Yes, I know that's not a lot of money. However, write 30 of those, get good ratings above four stars on each of them, and you will be a premium writer before you know it. You can literally get to a premium writer within a day or so. It's not difficult to do at all. Um, uh, let's have a look here as well. Let's just read his instructions. There, okay. Paragraph format only. See, there you are. Very specific instructions. It's important that you follow these instructions. Now, I can't find any at the moment, of course, because I'm actually looking for it. But quite often what you'll find is you'll, you'll see... The, these have all been quite good in that they've given you decent um, information, a good article purpose, good instructions, somewhere to go for references. Quite often what you will find is literally, oh, again, again that one's going into an awful lot of details, telling you exactly what they want from their article. Again, worth reading it, make sure that you understand it. But quite often what you do is you, you go in here, you go into special instructions, again, very good instructions. It's just... Um, find someone up here okay you can see on this one that the instructions are are fairly vague You've got to do um, they're giving you your website 
they've not really told you what you want. They want an article on Zamob music. Now that could be quite difficult to write unless you know a lot about it or you know exactly what they're after. You know that's going to be quite hard to write. And sometimes the instructions are very very vague. They don't give you a lot of idea behind what the author's after. I've seen people say um, give you a, a, a title and then said yeah you know, article on computers and you sit and thinking what about computers you know and uh, yeah they've written an article on computer and that's it yeah and you left there struggling and wondering what that what on earth you meant to do which to be honest is really really difficult so you've got to sort of balance this up here between how many you write and whether you will take on some of the difficult challenges because when you look for sort of an article like this you've got to think well I could probably write it but it's going a it's going to take me a lot of time and b Am I going to be able to write what they want? Because they've not really told me what they want. So this sort of um, article, you're going to find you get a lot higher rejection rate because you simply don't know what they want. It's very difficult to say, and it's important that you protect your rating here. And you can see there's quite a few here um, with low rejection rates. You know, this one here, 37% approval rate. They've rejected 821 articles. This is someone that, again, frankly, I wouldn't go near writing for them because of that. That, to me, represents a risk to my rating. I, I've got a high percentage chance that they're going to reject me, even if I write the best article I can. And you can see here, this is another thing that always puts me off. If I see special instructions that basically start threatening you, telling you they're going to do this, that, and the other, and that if you don't write a good article, they're going to reject it, report you, and, you know... Uh, you know, set your f fire to your house sort of thing. You sit there and go, no, you don't want to do business with those. You want to do business with people that are willing to pay for quality. And unfortunately, on the standard level, there's a lot of people here who are literally just after cheap content. They don't care much about quality. They just want somebody to write something for nothing. And quite often, they will really, really take advantage because of it. But once you get to this level, you can really get some great, great deals. Now, this one here, for example. 500 words, $8.10. That's brilliant, brilliant pay for that. Special instructions, look at that. Very nice. It tell you exactly what you want. Exactly where to look and get some more information on, and exactly what they're after. So this is exactly what you need to do. You have to find articles that you can write and write well. And then obviously you can um, take them on and, and start writing. As your rating goes up, so what you'll find is people will start requesting you to do articles for them. Now you can see over here that I'm on these people's favorite lists. And basically what that means is I'm someone that they can sort of contact and say, hey, would you write an article for me? So any of these people, there's a few on here, will contact me on occasion specifically asking me to do uh, articles, which is brilliant. Now, sometimes what they'll do is they'll ask a group of people. So you might have, um, they might want 30 articles and they've asked 10 writers to write them. So you've got to get in there quick and start writing because otherwise what's going to happen is the other people are going to grab them. They don't always request just a single writer. They can request a group of writers to do the work for them. Typically, if somebody requests you personally to do a, um, some writing for them, they will pay you more than if they put it onto the site itself. The site pays every Tuesday. You don't have to request it. All you have to do is have the right balance and then they will automatically um, pay it out to your PayPal account, which is brilliant. So if you are looking for somewhere where you can very quickly and pretty easily start making money, literally today, I write as a place to go. You can get on here, you can get yourself an account, get writing articles straight away, and earning money and literally within a week you can have a payout in your account obviously then paying out once a week great way to do it and as you get to uh, do more and more work here you'll get better known you get more people wanting to give you business and ultimately at the end of the day it's a great way to really start funding your online business and start actually bringing some cash in to your accounts